Hello guys and welcome to Top Channel 1 on 1 and today we're going to be looking at some amazing new tools that are radically going to change how we work starting with Mid Journey 5 which is a new version of Mid Journey. We have previously been working with Mid Journey 4 that had more of a sterilized look. Uh, if I go to my account here and uh, explore some of what the community has been working on. You can, most of these are using Mid Journey 4 and below. Though they look realistic, if you look at them closely, they have that smooth look that uh, you don't really see that you don't get with actual photographs or re using real cameras and uh, you can see they have a bit of sterilization and the color palette they use is unique to version 4 even version 3 had its own color palette uh, that uh, if you use mid journey for a long time you can start to tell uh, the difference now with version 5 uh, they promise to have a more more uh, realistic look and uh, i guess we can jump right into that and uh, start exploring some of that so whenever mid journey releases a new version they give users a chance to rate these images they also use this as data to treat the mid journey ai to produce better images so let's go to the ratings here and uh, we can do some bit of rating here um uh, yeah you can see we have version 5 ratings select the image you like best let me see let me see let me just go with this because i like that look oh batman what is this oh this is a well detailed batman so this is really trippy i can't really figure out oh i guess it's a lake reflection of a house but i like this one better uh, the feet are not really looking the best uh, the hands are improving you can see she has five fingers uh this one has four you're going to get a wide range of styles uh, and uh, it's not up to you what you get are uh, they just throwing random images at you and uh, i think i'm going none of these look the best so i'm just going to skip others uh, and uh, you're rating two different images uh, that are in a completely different style you are basically comparing apples to oranges like these two and it shouldn't be in the same category but uh, i like this one better so i'll select that mm. i think we are still getting that uh cartoonish look we haven't really gotten anything that uh, looks super realistic they all look good but uh, they still have that cartoonish look so i'm just going to select this uh, this one is definitely better i like this better now this is looking re very very realistic you can see it's really getting better at fingers uh, you can see here you don't really uh, maybe this hand here is uh, a bit yeah the palm looks a bit weird but uh yeah still look overall now this is uh of course this one now i wouldn't be able to tell that these are median images i can look at this now these are starting to look like actual people and uh, the clothes are just perfect uh the hands yeah yeah this one is a bit weird but uh, overall the image looks super realistic the hands are usually the one i want to give the images away but uh uh, every version comes with a few improvements. The first doesn't have enough detail, but overall the image looks perfect. Every time I see a realistic human, I'm, I just, I'm just impressed. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on here. I would like to see the prompt for this one because... Uh, uh, is she stuck? Uh, this seems like an intro to a certain type of movie. But, uh, so i'll just select this does hair really really well yeah i i could do this for hours i think but uh we have to move on to the next thing here and uh, that is wonder dynamics <laughs> Wonder AI is a new tool on the market that you can use to replace people in a video with a 3D animated character. The AI does a lot of things here that I should break down just to show how impressive this is and how many jobs are off the line if this works as has promised. And what is more scary is the current trend of AI. It seems that new AI always delivers more than we expect and each new AI that is released, new clones or other related versions of that AI 
come up as well, which do better or do come with different features. For example, when Stable Diffusion was released, Midjourney was released as well, when ChatGPT was released, Google Bard was also released, and the list goes on. To be able to do what this AI promises to do, you first need the footage with the actor you want to replace, rotoscope or create a mask to cut them out of the video. The mask would have to be animated as the person is in motion, and so is everything around them. Then clean up the background, since when you cut or mask the person out from the footage, you leave empty pixels behind them. Those pixels would need to be replaced to match what is in the background. Photoshop can do this easily, but since this is a video, you need to do more work. After Effects would accomplish this, but it can take hours to do well. Then bring in the 3D model you created. The model will have to be animated to match the actor's movement in the video. You will need to do motion tracking to make sure the 3D characters you have added to your scene do not just slide over the video, but attract in like all the other objects. Then match the color, then match the lighting, and then render. And each step takes hours, if not days, depending on the complexity of your scene. Wanda AI promises to reduce all these time consuming tasks into a drag and drop operation that can be done in a few seconds. This is exciting and scary at the same time. But as artists, we are resilient creatures and we will survive this like pencil and paper artists survived the digital era by adapting. Adapt to changing times and workflows and you won't have to worry about the next wave of AI and there are many to come. Don't wait for AI to get better and be replaced. Start adapting your workflow today. There are tools that you can use to speed up your workflow. For example, products like Procedure Ari that you can use to generate cities or a block of buildings in seconds. Your client has a deadline and won't care how you created the building in the background, but will care if it's not there because you had no time to create a realistic building with shops, different designs, perfect textures, street lights, escape ladders, and more. The advantage we have over artists is that most clients don't know what they want. They want you to guide them towards what they want. They want options. Though AI can give them those options, it gives them too many. So choosing becomes a job in itself. You can cater directly to your clients better than the AI. All you need to do is speed up your workflow every time you get a chance. Say your client wants a camera flying through clouds. No need to create cloud VDBs on your own. BP Production has over a hundred VDB clouds to choose from. Just grab them and add them to your project and it will save you hours of stress. Thank you for watching. If you want to comment on this, just do that in the comment description. I'll be there answering your comments and uh, yeah, make sure to leave a like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.